Hey everybody, this is Mr. V and this is Apes Review Video, topic 8.4 on the human impacts on wetlands and mangroves. So in this topic, what we're talking about is, remember, we're talking about wetlands. We discovered, we talked about those back in Unit 1 and 2, talking about wetlands and their uh, services that they provide for the environment. And basically, it's an area that's covered by water um, in their soil, either all of the time or for a good chunk of their time. So a good wetland looks like this. Um, tends to have some sort of a river or stream and then bodies of water that are pretty soaked the whole time. Now recall that wetlands have a lot of value. They of course provide regulating surfaces, so make sure you go back to unit 2 to look at that, um, and that they end up producing or providing services such as purification, flood protection, habitat for organisms, and then of course our other regulating services like climate regulation, erosion control, and of course control of pests and pathogens. So why is this important? Well, there are many anthropogenic threats um, having to do with those. We can talk about development, dam construction, fishing, pollutants, and the idea is that wetlands are constantly changing and being used for our purposes. So that ends up being uh, something that we could that we talk about as a threat. So, um, for example, in the case of the dam, here's a, the Three Gorges Dam, right? This is the largest dam in China. Um, what happens with this is you're going to end up with one side becoming a much larger flooded wetland, which sounds good because you have more wetland, but you've changed a river system into a wetland system, which is a very different thing. And then you're going to end up with droughts um, and sediment buildup on opposite sides of the dam. So it's important to think about those threats and also think about solutions that can come to those uh, or come for, come for those. Okay. And then here's another important impact that we have um, on these wetlands is um, here's a little focus on mangroves. So mangroves are these trees. They're flowering plants that can grow in salt water, um, which is an important thing because very few plants actually do uh, grow in salt water. And so they tend to serve as a nursery for fish. So fish that are really big that live out in the ocean, they come and lay their eggs in mangroves and seagrass beds and coral reefs so that when they're babies, they're not hunted down and eaten so quickly. Right? It's a nursery, so they stay and they get, while they're small, they, they get bigger, and then eventually they go out to the ocean and live their lives there. Um, but of course, these areas are vulnerable to erosion and development. Um, so, you know, when you start to build homes on beaches and those tend to wear away, that's a problem because that sediment can build up and lead to big problems for mangroves. So, here's some other sources on those if you want to look at those. Hopefully, they'll be helpful, and hopefully, this was helpful. Thank you.